camera in the back that has a red light on it, you should look at that camera so you can get more votes. I never did anything they told me I should do. Yeah. <laughs> because I knew if it was something that God had for me, then I wanted to walk through it authentically. So I have never allowed this industry to change me. And there were times, y'all, I'm going to keep it real with you, that I didn't feel seen. Okay. Nor did I feel liked. But my grandmother used to tell me that what is the profit of man to gain the whole world but lose his soul, baby? You better stay focused. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not want to do this again. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. Some of y'all might be like, mm, uh, she said that. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to walk back in this. When I played uh, a silly on Broadway, that was heavy for me. Yeah. I didn't have a team. Everybody that was around me was taking everything that I had. I would get home and couldn't even order a pizza. But I was never home. How is that I ain't got no money, but I'm always working? Everybody just saw the gift, but they saw opportunity to make money off the gift. So I felt like I was carrying my cross and Celie's cross, and that was heavy for me. So when Blitz caught me, and thank God for Scott, Scott Sanders, you've seen something in me that nobody's seen. I don't know why you called me, because I don't have training. I ain't go to school for acting. Broadway, I had never seen a show. I'm from High Point, North Carolina. So I was like, why are you calling me, Scott? But I get it. I get why you called me, because you saw something in me. And you saw everything that I was going through, and you know I could relate to Seely. Mm. When I left Broadway, y'all, I had a surgery. I had two tumors on my vocal cords. Oh. I remember leaving thinking, did they see everything I put in that? Ain't nobody calling me what's going on. Mm. So no, I ain't going back. That's heavy for me. Seely gave, uh, Blitz gave Seely imagination. And I said, I'm in. I wanted to stand for every black girl, every woman who felt like they were looked over. See, I can relate to sugar in my real life because I'm a singer. So I was always pouring out the people, but nobody was pouring into me. Sure, uh, Sophia taught me something, but a lot of women don't just start there. A lot of women don't feel seen, they feel ugly, they feel, but now I'm like so, I knock a door down in a minute. <laughs> but it took me a while to get there. So I said, I gotta do this for every woman who feels looked over, who there are no applause, no screams. But they're trusting God and they know without a shadow of a doubt they got a gift. Playing silly wasn't easy. I had to code switch every day. Code switch and I had to play with Mr. Play with Shug, play with Soap, play with Oppo, play with old Mr. That wasn't easy. Then they turned around and said I got to learn how to tap this. <laughs> Joe, whether I get an applause or not, an award, I am my own award. <laughs>